Welcome to Board Prep Gastroenterology Batch 1. Today I will share 20 questions with you. I recommend that you pause the video after each question and provide the answer. In so doing, you're evaluating how much you really know. Let's begin. In this batch, I'll be asking questions about disorders of the esophagus. Question 1. Dysphagia is defined as difficulty swallowing. There are two types, oropharyngeal dysphagia and esophageal dysphagia. Identify four structural problems that could cause oropharyngeal dysphagia. Answer is cervical osteophytes, thyromegaly, cricoid webs, and pharyngoesophageal diverticulum, which is zanker diverticulum. Question 2. Dysphagia is defined as difficulty swallowing. There are two types, oropharyngeal dysphagia and esophageal dysphagia. Identify five neurological problems that could cause oropharyngeal dysphagia? The answer is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, central nervous system tumor, stroke, myasthenia gravis, and Parkinson disease. Question three. Dysphagia is defined as difficulty swallowing. There are two types oropharyngeal dysphagia and esophageal dysphagia. Identify four structural problems that could cause esophageal dysphagia. Answer is esophageal stricture, eosinophilic esophagitis, esophageal web, and esophageal cancer. Question four. Dysphagia is defined as difficulty swallowing. There are two types, oropharyngeal dysphagia and esophageal dysphagia. Identify three motility disorders that could cause esophageal dysphagia. The answer is achalasia, diffused esophageal spasm, and scleroderma. Question five, a patient presents with a sensation of food sticking in the esophagus and associated chest pain. What is the diagnosis and what is the test of choice for this condition? The patient has esophageal dysphagia. Upper endoscopy is the test of choice. It is both diagnostic and therapeutic. Question six. A patient presents with heartburn, which is otherwise known as pyrosis. She improves after taking proton pump inhibitors, known as PPIs. What is her diagnosis? GERD, which is gastroesophageal reflux disease. Question seven, a patient presents with dysphagia, vomiting, anemia, and weight loss. What is the first imaging modality to evaluate her? Upper endoscopy. What is the next step in a patient with heartburn but failed PPIs and have a negative endoscopy test? ambulatory pH monitoring. Question nine, how is ambulatory pH monitoring performed? Conventionally, a pH catheter is inserted transnasally in the distal esophagus and the pH is measured over 24 hours. An alternative is the wireless sensor 
which is deployed into the distal esophagus and transmit data over 48 hours. Question 10. Name five drugs that may result in GERD. Anticholinergic drugs, aspirin and or NSAIDs, calcium channel blockers, nitrates, and progesterone. Question 11. Name the common foods and beverages that may result in GERD. Alcohol, chocolate, citrus fruits and juices, coffee, fatty and fried food, onions, and peppermint. Question 12. What is the most common cause of non-cardiac chest pain? GERD followed by motility disorders. Question 13. What is the best test to evaluate a patient presenting with odinophagia or painful swallowing? Upper endoscopy. Question 14. A patient presents with painful swallowing or oropharyngeal dysphagia. What is the diagnostic test of choice? video fluoroscopy. Question 15. What is the diagnostic test of choice for esophageal dysphagia? Upper endoscopy. Question 16. Which aspect of the esophagus is under voluntary control? The upper one-third. It is composed of striated muscle, while the lower two-third is composed of smooth muscle. Question 17. Which nerve innervates the esophagus? The vagus nerve. Question 18. Achalasia is due to degeneration of the myenteric plexus, which caused the lower esophageal spinster to remain contracted. What is the clinical manifestation of achalasia? Dysphagia, chest pain, regurgitation of food, and weight loss. Question 19. The chest x-ray of a patient complaining of chest pain shows dilated esophagus with air fluid level. What is the primary screening test for this condition? Barium swallow. Question 20. What would you see on the barium swallow if a patient had a chalacea? Bird's beak appearance. I have included two different answers for the same question. The question is, which is the first test to be done for esophageal dysphagia? One source says barium swallow is the first test if the source of dysphagia is not known. Another source says upper endoscopy can be done first if the patient has a history of GERD. Well, remember, Interest is the soil in which knowledge grows, and repetition enhances recall. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I wish you well. Good night.